Tulsi Gabbard's ordeal is a haunting reminder of the perilous path we tread. When government overreach begins to suffocate individual freedom, her fears are not just personal whispers in the dark. They echo the growing unease many feel as the scales tip dangerously toward state control, eroding the delicate balance between security and liberty. Let me get this straight. For what we, we only know this because of a whistleblower is my understanding. That's right. That you were targeted and that every flight you went on, there were, what, three to five air marshals that were with you and that you would go through a screening process that could take up to an hour every single time you boarded an airplane and you do travel a lot because you're in demand for speeches, events, et cetera. Is that correct? Do I have that down right? Uh, Sean, yes, you have that correct. But this is this is the only the information that we know. Uh, obviously, I experienced a significant change in my travel when all of this began on July 23rd. Uh, the air marshal whistleblowers who came out and were very disturbed by what was going on spoke the truth uh, and confirmed my suspicions. But, but my real question is, what don't I know? And, and this is the real pain and, and stress that's been caused both to me and my family by this whole situation is day and night wondering if and, and what government institution or agency is monitoring my phone calls, surveilling me in my movement, in my travels, knowing that yeah. they may be looking for some kind of excuse or derogatory action to come after me. And so when, when, when you live in this environment, it, it's impossible to feel free, uh, knowing that they're looking for, for a reason to, to, to not only come after me, but, but look at what action they could possibly take uh, against me. No American deserves this. No American deserves to live in fear of our own government. Her story is more than just a tale of personal strife. It's a glaring warning sign of the dangers posed by unchecked government power. In a world where countless states threaten our freedom, Gabbard's experience highlights the terrifying reality of living under the shadow of constant surveillance. It's a reality where civil liberties are not just chipped away, but obliterated, where the transparency we deserve is replaced by the opaque operations of powerful agencies. The psychological toll is profound. Living with the knowledge that every move might be watched instills a deep, gnawing anxiety that can shatter the very core of one's being. Imagine the constant fear, the dread of knowing that your every action could be scrutinized leading to an existential crisis where true freedom feels like a distant dream. The ability to make authentic choices becomes almost impossible when every step you take could trigger a reaction from an all-powerful state. Gabbard's experience is a stark illustration of how the imbalance of power between the individual and the state can strip away not just rights, but the very essence of what it means to live freely. The relentless surveillance, the uncertainty, the lack of control, it all breeds a toxic environment where stress and anxiety thrive. This fear doesn't just erode self-esteem, it burrows deep into the psyche, creating a state of constant vigilance, a hyper-awareness that drains the soul. For those who dare to stand against government overreach, the system is not just unfair. It's a crushing, relentless force that leaves them in a state of perpetual fear, questioning whether true freedom can ever be reclaimed.